So Mr. Blaze is moving. Oh my god, he just killed a cow. Kind of evil, don't you think? He's going really, really fast. The uh, railroad crossing, he didn't even go down in time. <laughs> and then we are departing. <laughs> yeah, we already like lost the front. I mean, it's looking good so far. We attached the pilot. Apparently, I'm a train surfer now. Wow. It's a lot better from like last time. There's not really any problems with this. I'll stop over there. Oh my god, he got the... He got the whistle working. Here it goes. Oh no. We should be arriving in California any day now. Yeah, very cool. I wonder if you like jump off. Does it still move? No, it kind of just stops right there. All right, so the train is moving along and oh no. <laughs> nice. Check out the cool scenery on the outside. At least from an engineer's perspective, this is actually really nice. You can see the front of the train. Yeah, the trap doors opening. Huh, chickens. They're sitting down. They're passengers as well. Yeah, this is really nice driving a Metro North train. It would be cool to have a horn, but you can open up the doors. <laughs> this is more dangerous than real life. And he should be driving the train. Okay, we're moving along. Good so far, Fox. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Correcty Fox, and today we're going to take a look at the Create mod where you can add moving trains into Minecraft. So the last time I reviewed the mod, they were just using the default minecart tracks, which are small and tiny. But in this new update, they have these really cool 3D modeled train tracks. So you could just place them down and they are much wider, like three blocks wide. So it's kind of like standard gauge. I just laid them on top of my existing anvil tracks. It's actually one of the sets for my animations. And you can actually extend it if you just uh, right click it again. And then you select a new point and then it just like makes everything in that area. And this thing can also do a lot of different designs. Like if you wanted to have little curve here you could do that or if you wanted to have a little switch it can have two tracks like that which you could put on an angle there is also this block over here is called a train station and you could just place that on top of the tracks you could see the arrow it shows which direction place that to the side of the tracks and then these things are connected let's call it fox haven and you'll actually need this block to assemble a train. You just right click and then create a new train. So take a train casing block from the inventory, just place it down and it makes this bogey, which will actually move. And I'm just going to make a rudimentary train. So basically you'll just uh, add blocks around it, get a train control and you want to place this down here. And this is where you can operate the train. So we're going to add in a red seat, super glue everything together. So this whole entire thing, this kind of like a world edit selection, that sort of reminds me of. All right, so once we have assembled the train, go to the train station assembly, call it Foxy, I don't know. And then this is our train and you can actually operate it. You just sit right over here, right click the controls and now you can move and this is your train. <laughs> It's actually a lot cooler. All right, so now let's go check out this larger train, the CSX GP38, and I added some freight cars to it. I already named it right here, and we are at Saratoga, New York train station. All right, so we can actually grab this fox right here, and you can actually give him a train schedule. So right over here, train schedule. Give him instructions, says travel to station, and you can write the name of the stations. So I made a train schedule of all the stations. Now can give him the train schedule. So now he becomes a train conductor and wears his hat. And he should be driving the train. Okay, we're moving along. Good so far, fox. All right, so the train is moving along, and oh no. <laughs> nice. I mean, at least the Conrail caboose is doing fine. Well, the train stopped at the next station right here. I'm in front of a train now. So as you can see, it is functioning. Ignore that destroyed hopper. So I'm gonna have Foxy go back to Saratoga and then we're gonna fix this guy up. But yeah, you can check out the cool scenery on the outside. At least from an engineer's perspective, this is actually really nice. And here we're gonna pass a crossing. You can write slash create trains, and if you want to remove it, you just press remove. Oh yeah, that's the other train. We'll move this one. Now this mod also does include train doors, which actually open in an interesting way. They actually slide like that. All right, so we just glued up this view liner and got the Metro North. Normally these things don't run together, but oh well. All righty, got the fox sleeping. He better move because I'm going to run over his... Yeah, let me actually move him out of the way. We're going to test it out if it actually runs and doesn't leave a part of the train behind. So just sit down, go forward, you just hold W, and then we are departing. <laughs> yeah, we already like lost the front. I mean, it's looking good so far. We attached the pilot. 
So now we're gonna go on to the next station. You know, it kind of feels nice to actually have the whole thing running. Oh no, no, we gotta... <laughs> the thing about this mod is the track switches are not automatic. So like you can't automatically turn. So if you have a fork, you have to control which direction you want to actually move in. That's both a pro and a con, I guess. Then here we're reaching Finley, Ohio. I made a station here, but I think we'll just pass it. Yeah, this is really nice driving a Metro North trainer. It'll be cool to have a horn. But uh, we only have the whistles in the mod, which is for steam trains. But yeah, this is actually really cool. Get a cab view. So sitting down. Definitely if you're operating this, put a chair down. Because if you stand, you're actually going to fly out. Uh, it's getting a little rocky here. Oh, we're coming across like a switch. So we got to make sure we got to turn the right direction. So you can see the arrow there in the bottom of the screen right here. That actually helps you uh, determine which way you're gonna go. So we're just gonna go back into it. <laughs> All right, so we're getting outside of this tunnel area. I wonder if you can have like lights for this train to light up dark areas. The next station is California. <laughs> That's what I labeled this as. So here we are. If you hold space, it just stops at the station. So yeah, we just drove our metronor from New York to California. That was pretty quick. So our next location is past California. So we're going to go to the rail yard and hopefully he's going to follow it now. Let me actually get outside and check out how this train is doing. <laughs> That's still funny. Probably there should be a better way. This mod actually improved the curves from the previous minecart rails, but they're still too small for my big trains. Probably like the closest thing you're gonna get to having a functional Minecraft train. Unless you know how to design a train mod. Let's go back now. Wow, there's two of them. The reason why I want to have the chickens driving is so I can check out the other car. Apparently I'm a train surfer now. Wow. It's actually a pretty nice view. Let's go to the inside of this because there should be some seating. And hopefully I don't fall off this train. That would really suck. Okay, I just fell off. All right, got to get inside. Wow, this is the inside. Uh, some of these blocks are missing. Oops. Whoa, like the door is open too when you arrive in a train station. That's cool. So yeah, let's just sit down. We're just riding on Amtrak. You can see like trucks in the background, some American scenery. And we should be arriving in New York shortly. You can see the front of the train. Yeah, the trap doors opening. Huh, chickens. They're sitting down. They're passengers as well. Oh, we arrived in New York. That was quick. Are we going to stop? I think we are going to. Yep, the door opens like that. And the train. We have arrived in New York. <laughs> Yeah, thanks to our chicken train crew. All right, so now let's assemble a New York City subway train. Yeah, let's move this guy down in position. Open doors, that's what I've added. And hopefully it runs well, although I did have to separate the cars. All right, so here's the interior of it. It is, it's not much, okay. Let's go here. I'm departing from Saratoga. This is the New York City subway car. Uh, we are missing a little bit of the back part, unfortunately. Oh no, derailed. All right, so I just put it back to the correct orientation. We are missing a part of that. That kind of sucks, but I just want to see this train in action, to be honest. Oh, no. But yeah, we're moving along with our damaged subway train. Check out this curve. It goes crazy. Maybe this is definitely better for a one-to-one -one scale, but we are approaching our next station in Ohio. Finley, Ohio. And if it works correctly, yeah, the doors do open, so you can imagine how good this would look like in an actual New York City subway station. El Cow is operating the train just like my Minecraft animations. Subway trade. And the next station is not too far off. Yeah, it's really cool. Going across crossing, you won't see this too much. <laughs> it just opens like that. <laughs> in the middle of the crossing. Going across this really unsafe train, but you can open up the doors. <laughs> this is more dangerous than real life. Okay, go. So you can actually change the type of bogey you have just by right-clicking the wheel of it. It kind of looks like pistons. Apparently to move in both directions fast, you'll need train controls on both sides. Let's get a blaze burner. Apparently this is a block you can use to, uh, I guess, control the train. So yeah, we got a sentient piece of life. All right, cool. But now he's gonna go out to the next station, so that is like another type of wheel design, yeah. 
It's more like a steam locomotive. Now a cool feature about the creative mod, you can just hold W and this kind of tells you the information of how this thing works. So I'm currently trying to figure out how to make a railroad crossing. So here's what we have so far. We have an observer, a train observer on the track. So when the train comes and lands on this, I set it so it filters stone and I put stone inside the chest. So if I drive this over, it should activate the redstone. Yep, just like that. And then this in turn should activate a sequence gear shift and I made it turn 90 degrees and delay and then turn 90 degrees again. So I think I'll just turn down the power for this, maybe like 12. And we're gonna make this rudimentary railroad crossing and we need some glue. So let's see if this thing works. Activate it, come on. Oh wow, it actually, <laughs> it works. Wait a minute, it's supposed to go down now that I think of it. Get that train going, all right, activate, oh. It did it, but like the wrong way. <laughs> Let's do it again. Come on. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's good. So I figured out a way to do things wirelessly using the redstone link. So basically, if this gets a redstone connection, this thing can activate this thing wirelessly. So you don't have to have this long wire that kind of looks ugly. So I plan to have an observer right here. And then this could signal this wirelessly. And basically inside here is a frequency. So this is the block that is going to be like the same type. To make it a receiver, you just crouch and right click and then you get this like white disc on top. So I have these set as receivers and they should go down when the train comes. So let's just do a test for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to get a lever here. Pull the lever. They should both go down. All right, yeah. It's working good so far. We got the functioning railroad crossing. And then there it goes back up. All right, so let's give this guy the train schedule and hopefully we'll be on our way. So here you go. We are departing. Riding a BNSF train and I actually have some mechanisms here. Whistle. I better not fall off like last time. There it goes. Moving along. At least we have like a functioning train. Like it's a lot better from like last time. These are actually, there's not really any problems with this so far. So we should be going across to that station and then I'll stop over there. Oh my god, he got the he got the whistle working. <laughs> he did it automatically. Oh, I guess when you arrive at a train station, it makes that uh, whistle blow. Which is actually a steam effect, but oh well. Alright, so Mr. Blaze is moving. Oh my god, he just killed a cow. Kind of evil, don't you think? Alright, he's going really, really fast. The railroad crossing, he didn't even go down in time. <laughs> Well, 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 now it went down. Okay, now it just stopped. All right, that one goes up, this one goes up. The train is still right here. I think in a real life situation, the train signal should be activated earlier. So I made an observer slightly farther away. So I'll make him go back where he came from. There he goes, pretty fast. All right, so if this works properly, then the train signal thing should go down. All right, the barriers actually went down. Okay, no, they're going up too early. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 it's a lot of configuration. Plus, the train stops there anyways. Okay, should be activating. Railroad crossing's going down just in time. <laughs> well, it's like barely all right, so it's going past it. Riding on top of the BNSF. This is a really wide field of view. Yeah, you can see all the train cars. It's actually a pretty nice one-to-one -one scale. My face might hit the roof of this. I'm not sure if I can fit. Oh, no, it's fuck. At least the total part section. Yeah. It's actually working quite good. You got the graffiti for Fox Yard. And we should be arriving in California any day now. Yeah, very cool. It looks so small in this. I wonder if you like jump off, does it still move? No, it kind of just stops right there. Oh, it's going the opposite way. So I guess you can go back into where the tunnel is. Nice. Very cool. Chug along. Got the horn, or the whistle. It'd be cool if they had a horn too. Mr. Blaze, finally, he's going back to work. I just fell off my train again. We got spectator mode so I can fly faster. There it goes, cross crossing, yep. I mean, the guards are only on this side, so if I did this properly, it would be on both sides. The only problem with doing it like this is that uh, the locomotive is in the wrong place. Especially do not want to lead the train with a tank car. Because <laughs> usually they put like explosive material on it. There he goes. Da -da 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 -da. 
Oh no! Alright, so it should be arriving in the station. Uh, hopefully it doesn't destroy anything else. Oh no, there's another train here. Okay, good. Thing is stopped. It's gonna hit my Metro North. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my video of the Kuwait Train mod. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's definitely a lot of potential and maybe I might revisit this mod to see like other aspects of it, especially because we didn't even get to make a steam locomotive yet. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.